Hello everybody, this is Jeanette Vilda. Um, today I've got a journal for Ephemeris Vintage Garden using her uh, vintage postcards, the pink and the purple, as well as the vintage linens, um, the vintage hankies pink and purple, and also the antique dress cuffs. Um, I've done another uh, journal using all of those, but I also added in her um, purple rain, um, and then so, uh, mostly purple rain, and then a few other little bits from a couple of the other kits. And I'll link to that video down below. But this one, what I wanted to do was show that uh, you can use those completely. So there is absolutely nothing else in this journal except those, uh, ooh, that's five, five <laughs> kits. Um, I think, you know, when I finished, I was looking at this and thinking this would just be such a cute little journal for a little girl who, you know, maybe wants to have a little bit of a kind of a grown up journal because it has such a cute sweetness to it. Um, the pinks and the purples and all the little uh, postcards that are in that kit just they're so sweet and pretty um, so let's just look so what I did was um, this one is again the signatures are stitched and then they're put into place with the sari ribbon and I don't know let me see if I can zoom out a bit here to show you the um, to the side. What I did was take um, the ribbons there, then they're cascaded down. So there's four signatures. So I put the, you know, one bow on the top and then slightly down, slightly down, and then all the way down. So actually the opposite way. <laughs> it just makes a nice little fun thing on the side there. So um, I know, so I had this is very pale pinks and I had been waiting on this sari silk and I kind of thought it was a little bit lighter than it is. But you know what? I think this bright pink just accents the, the nice light pink really, really well. It just makes it really cute. And again, it just adds to that kind of little girl feel to it. Let me zoom back in here a bit. The cover is one of the postcards from the pink postcards. And like I like to do, um, they're dimensioned, uh, I don't know if you can see, it. in real life, again, it looks, <laughs> the one problem with the pictures is that you can't really see how um, neat the 3D looks um, as you can when it's in real life. And then I have these really great um, silver corners. And to tell you the truth, they, these have been in my stash for so long, I do not remember where they were from. Probably, I think it was just a store around here. Um, but they looked really nice, kind of um, mimics what's on the postcard. Um, let's see, moving inside. Like I said, um, this is just the postcards, the, um, the hankies, and the cuffs. There are a few um, book pages, so some um, vintage book pages that I had, um, and that's it. So it's just those kits and then some book pages. And one of the things I did was I found a lot of really great quotes about hankies, because <laughs> this is the hanky collection. So um, they're really cute and they're spread out throughout the book. Um, on the first page, it just kind of left it blank, um, did 3D, and um, uh, this art, it's obviously taken from this postcard, and just kind of popped up a couple of them, and they looked really cute. And so you can put a nice picture here, and it becomes almost like a little frame. And then over here, we have a little pullout. This is another one of the postcards. And this um, is one of the postcards, again, with the, the just middle cut out, made into a nice little frame. And let's 
slides in there. And you can then, you know, if you want, turn it over, put an image in there, slide it back in, and you've got a nice little frame for the image. And slides back in there. Okay, and this is one of the hanky pages. Um, one thing I did do throughout here, I did not fill this up with ephemera. It has a lot of the postcards, um, pretty much just the postcards. I did do um, some things to the postcards and made some of them into little tags, that kind of thing. But it's um, mostly just, you know, I have lots of pockets, but not all filled up. Um, I've made a lot of uh, journals for my nieces and they really like filling them up. Um, so I think what I would do if, um, is I'm going to make a little envelope with a lot of the little pieces, some of the postcards, um, all the little fussy cut images that I didn't put into the book. And then you would give that to um, whoever gets the journal and they could decorate it and make their own stuff. And then they have plenty of room. And another thing I wanted was um, plenty of room to add what you wanted to journal, um, put pictures in, all that kind of thing. So it's not, you know, chock full of ephemera. It's just, you know, nice little decorations so that they can add what they want. And so here we have the, these are the um, cuffs. And it's so interesting to me to, I would never have thought of this, uh, using cuffs and then using them for little pockets. So this is a fussy cut from one of the postcards and then the two cuffs layered on top of each other to make a pocket. And while I'm looking at this, I'm going to say that um, this is version two <laughs> of this journal. Um, I saw a comment in um, one of the pages saying that, you know, they'd done a journal and then kind of threw it away. And I kind of hit that same thing. I had made this journal and I was pretty much ready, had it stitched up and went off to vacation, came back in hated it. <laughs> um, it just didn't look right. It didn't have the right feel. And it was so pale. I think what I did was I had taken um, this paper that I used to print this and I had spritzed it with some pinks and some shimmers, um, put it together. And as you can see here, this ink is not the same color as this ink. Um, it's slightly paler. And so I had used, I think it was a nice pink um, and purple, which is why this um, postcard here has a purple edge to it. Um, but everything looked so pale and washed out. So I almost pitched the whole thing. And I was like, that's crazy. I took it apart and figured out that instead I wanted to use this nice deep pink to accent everything and changed my ink. Um, and I don't remember which ink I ended up using. I have four favorites, so I never remember which one. But those pages that I did with the spritz won't go to waste. I, you know, I kept all of those. They'll just look much better in another project. And so some of the ephemera that I had created didn't fit anymore. And so again, just put it to the side, use it for another project. So I think sometimes, yeah, it hurts to look at all the work you've done and go, eh, and then you, you kind of almost want to just keep going and just say, all right, it'll just be a, a journal that I'm not too happy with. So sometimes you do have to say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to give myself permission to tear it apart and start over. Um, and again, but just don't throw it away. You can use it for other projects. As a matter of fact, some of those pink pages, um, when I met with my nieces again, they wanted to make their own little books and they used a lot of those pages. So they're already not going to waste. So, <laughs> so let's see, let's keep going. Um, this is a vintage book. Um, actually this was, uh, let's see, there's, uh, it's all German. Um, it's a book of old, I think this one was 19 or maybe 1920. I forget what the date is on this one. Um, I've got one book that was from the 1850s and one that's from the 19-somethings. I believe this, this the 19-somethings, obviously, you can tell from the advertisement. 
and it's just a book of newspapers, so old newspapers, and they've collated it into a book. And so this is one of those pages. Um, and it's just reinforced. So wherever I used the book pages, I reinforced um, the spine with some washi tape. So, and used, I think this is a Martha Stewart punch to um, sometimes to punch the whole sides and sometimes there's just the corner pieces. So, so I'm going to go pretty quick because like I said, there's not a lot of ephemera pieces. It's just lots of room. Some nice quotes. Um, I had received just before making... Um, this book and the other one, um, some handmade uh, trim, and she had sent along some books on decorating hankies with the tatting. So it was just perfect. So they made their way into this book. I said, lots of empty space. And I love using vellum. I think it just looks so pretty in this book. Just adds a nice little touch. And again, you can still write on this if you have like a black permanent pen you can write on and it still will look quite nice. Another quote. Um, here's a little belly band with just a little bit of trim and I just stuck one of the postcards into here. And as you can see, so this is the um, middle of the um, signature and it's just held in with the ribbon. So it allows you to maybe fill this signature up, take it out and put another one in or leave it for posterity. And again, this is one of the postcards I just fussy cut out. Um, the, it was like, I think it's a whole frame went around and I just took a corner to make a nice little corner piece. Let's the side of the vellum. And here, um, let me get that other postcard, I'll use that another little tuck spot and this one is a piece of vellum so you can see that and then so it makes a nice little tuck and a hanky page I d there is some um, stenciling with uh, pink and the purple so just a nice little tuck spot with a little embroidered butterfly and some more of the stenciling. This is actually with the pink. When the pink on the pink, it kind of makes a really pretty, um, kind of brown, but pinky brown. So very pretty. And this is one of the advertisements from the newspaper. And again, this is one of the um, postcards. It was just, oh, no, no, that's not a postcard. That's one of the corner pieces, which you'll see later in the book. And I simply cut out the trim that was around the corner piece to make a nice little border. And this is the other side of the advertisement. I thought it looked really cute with the little selling the clues. And here's one of the postcards. This is actually the one that I took the corner piece from. And again, there's a little postcard made into a little tag. Tap to take it in and out. And again, you can write on that. And here's, I think this is two different postcards, Fussy Cut this and then Fussy Cut the um, frame and took the middle out. And that's glued on, so you can just put something on there right in it. Another vellum pieces, another hanky page. Um, the hanky page and I love these postcards I mean you can as you can see they really lend themselves to making little frames out of them um, and then nothing goes to waste so if I'm taking this one out I would fussy cut out this middle piece first and then cut out my frame and you get two for the price of one actually that would be three for the price of one because <laughs> you have the whole and then the two pieces so they make really nice little frames. Um, the thinner ones, I like to glue down um, simply because this makes it difficult to get things in and out. You don't want to tear it up, um, but it still looks really cute and you can still put something in the middle there. And that's another piece from one of the other. I think that might be one of the corner pieces, um, which like I said, is later in the book. 
Um, some of these are a little busy, and I wanted to make sure there's plenty of journaling spots. So what I did was print this page, but paler, so lighter printing. And then, you know, it lines up quite nicely and just gives you a nice little spot for some journaling. This is one of the cuffs made into a little tuck spot for one of those cards. Hanging the page. And that one. I think these punches work really nice with this. Just real pretty. Hanky page. Piece of the vellum. And here's another postcard turned into a frame. This time um, I used um, this page. And again, when it was pale, um, and then just turned it into a little tag that slides in there. Oop, a little more difficult. There we go. But it slides in nicely and just used, um, uh, I think it's the postage stamp punch. Um, and just layered it up using, again, this page. I like to match the pages together so they look nice when they're together. And some pretty, this is a mix of the pink and the purple, some stenciling. And again, just um, printed lighter and lined it up. It's nice for journaling. And this is a CD case. Um, and just one of the um, same page here, so it matches nicely. Um, just put in so that you can add a picture or take it out and put anything you want inside there. And this is another piece of a postcard. And this is one of the, um, from the Hanky set. She has some nice little tuck spots in there. Really nice. I think this is either in the purple set or the pink set. They're, they're in both. And this is one of those corner pieces I was saying. Um, so she's taken, you can see there's the whole Hanky. And it's just the corner of the Hanky. And on the page, there's four of them. And what I did earlier, like I said, was um, just trimmed out the edge of it. So there's lots of pieces here that you can use. Um, this little um, flower would be nice, fussy cut out. And of course it makes a nice little tuck spot or put it on the corner and you've got a pocket. Another hanky page. Another one of the postcards. So I've first fussy cut out the inside and then printed it twice and that's um, 3D so there's layers there hopefully that comes through a bit and again this is one of the postcards just made into a nice little tag I like to match so that it looks really nice going on the page um, this is just one piece of one of the postcards and some more Fussy cut out images. So here's those corner pieces. I printed one in on um, normal paper and then the other one onto the vellum. And this one, actually, I think this one is the straight pieces um, like this. And so this was straight like this, and I cut it in half. That gives me these two pieces. And this is one of the corner pieces, and I just cut it and put it on the two pages so that you have a nice middle piece there. And so this creates two sets of pockets on both sides. And I just put one of the postcards in there. And then here is one of the cuffs with some fussy cut. Um, roses and some stenciling and this is one of the postcards and again printed it twice and um, layered up the top so that it will hook right onto the cuff makes a neat little belly band Oop. Um, here's just uh, I think this is one of the middle pieces of one of the postcards there's more to the postcard and then just a little bit of embroidery. And the page. I found a lot of really neat hanky quotes. 
They're very cute. Um, this is one of the postcards, and again, 3D'd up. There's lots of layers, and then just made it into a little pocket for one of the postcards. Oh, I forgot this one. When I was putting this together, I forgot about that. I made this into a little pocket, so you can put another little tag in there. So I'm sure the tag is somewhere, so I will find that and put that in there. <laughs> when I was putting everything back, because when I put it, bind it, take all the pieces out so they don't get squished. And I must have not put that together. So This is another one of the postcards. Um, this is done like a little belly band, so you can slip something in there or just leave it like that. And here we have a little fabric tuck. So you can put the postcards in there. It looks really pretty. Another one piece. It's okay. one of the newspaper pages. And here, this postcard made a little flap with a magnet, which allows you to put any kind of hammer in there and it holds it nicely in there. The newspaper page, and here's another of the postcards. This time, um, and we took out the little center part. This is layered on a piece of vellum, so there are two pockets here. So you can put it here and use the vellum to kind of give a dusty look, or put it into the behind the um, and it's a little bit of a tighter squeeze. It's easier when I'm <laughs> going this way, upside down, it's not as easy. And that tucks in nicely in there, and then you have the brighter image, so you can do it both ways. Some more fussy cut images. This one again is glued down, so you can put a little image in there or write in it. Another one of the quotes. And here's another postcard. This one is layered again, so you could have a tuck here and you have the pocket here. Um, this is actually the postcard from earlier. Ooh, okay, much earlier, so I won't find it. <laughs> but made into a nice little tag. And one of the newspaper pages, some stenciling. Um, here's another little tuck. Or you can just leave it that like that and have a pretty little page, a little piece of embroidery. Another trimmed out piece made into a little frame. And that's the end. And then this is another piece of uh, fuzzy cut from one of the postcards. Um, and lots of room to put a nice image or write. So that is the complete journal. Back is blank, so you can write what you like. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to Ephemeris Vintage Garden. I had so much fun working with these kits and I hope you like the journal and please go and take a look at her, all of her creations. She had, um, the postcard collections have grown and I can't wait to play with those and do some more um, with them. They just lend themselves so nicely to doing all kinds of things. You can get so much out of just one postcard and her collections have lots of postcards. So definitely go take a look at those. Please like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.